Welcome back, my friends. Last episode, we unlocked some reliable money makers, being the new boss, Scurrious, and the classic Ice Trolls. Now we have a reliable cash flow to start unlocking the various store spaces on the Ultimate Iron Man. Ultimately, I want to unlock all the stash units so I can store various important gear. However, that's going to require at least 80 construction with boosts. Normally, it is not viable to rush this goal early on on the Ultimate. However, it is very viable nowadays with the right preparations. The other big issue is going to be transportation. Construction is a logistical challenge as without a bank, I need to travel a lot more to make planks at the sawmill in between my trips. Meaning it's going to add a lot of time to my training because a lot of the times I'm going to be walking. However, there is one teleportation ring that is out now that will clear this obstacle. This episode will focus on grinding out this amazing ring. We also make a bunch of awesome progress on various fronts too. Enjoy today's episode. My plan is tomorrow is all just AFKing. And what am I going to be AFKing? Just woodcutting because uh, I can get myself the log sack. And honestly, you can store that in your house as well. Log sack is really good for construction training. You will see in a bit how to do forestry to get the log sack if you've never done it before. This was a fail plan somewhat because I shot 1000 casts and I still end up having to melee because for some reason I can't get this rune X. I got it oh my god finally that took over an hour guys four times dry I need to get a looting bag to store some random stuff for space and going forward I will be doing last man standing mini game to get my looting bags because you can use LMS points to buy looting bags it's going to be a lot safer and probably just faster than doing it by killing stuff in the wilderness three points I guess but yeah we have to do a lot of this for room pouch but we'll do this occasionally just to get looting bags and stuff. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, I guess that was a legit player. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Six kills. How many points was that? Holy. Okay, well, that's good enough. But yeah, we're just going to get ourselves a looting bag here. And yeah, we're just going to put some stuff in here. Like granite shield and all this stuff. We're just going to keep woodcutting today and train our fire making. There's a few goals. The first big one is to get the log basket. So we're going to need some logs, some little logs, some, some old logs. We also have to do forestry events, which will spawn because I'm in the forestry world. For the anima, we need 5,000 anima bark. And then the second goal is to train some fire making once I deposit enough logs for the log basket. And that is going to be 49 fire making for tiers of gothics so we can do the tiers weekly. And that's kind of it for today. Oh shit, here it is, our first forestry event, boys. I guess we can't really hop around anymore, so we just got to stay at the spot. Because they Jagex patched the whole like French chat hopping around shenanigans. It's not too bad because there's so many people here. So the event should be spawning like all the time. Yeah, entity hire is definitely a recommended for this. For sure, because it's so hard to see anything. Oh shit, this is also farm XP. Oh my god, that's insane. Alright, let me at least not hide myself, but yeah. Basically, I guess we'll also get some cheap farm XP along the way if we get an event like this. Alright, I think we're done with all the oaks. So we're just gonna quickly check here. 300 oaks, sweet. Let's go get the willows. I'm gonna go to Drainer. Anyway, so we got our second event. We got the fox one, which is nice. We get some uh, bonus hunter XP. Alright, we just did a few events and I have over a quarter now, or about a quarter of what I need. Seems to be about 1k bark an hour. We got all we need. I'm gonna go ahead and try my farm making then with this extra logs that I got. Now I can finally do maple trees because uh, I can burn the uh, maple logs. And yeah, I think the events are also pretty damn good. Already found a freaking peasant. When I do maples, I can actually do a bunch of these events. That's actually insane. Like I can do the ones in the, the willows. I can do the one in the oaks. All right, guys, we hit 50 fire making. So that's pretty much everything that we need from fire making for a long time. I just got 20 farming. 
in order to store this forestry kit and also the law basket which i'll make very soon i need the old wardrobe that is five levels away and what i can do is i can do the eyes of glove requests for the crystal saw and make tea in my house which gives me plus six boosts that's guaranteed enough levels to just make it yeah i gotta build some rooms guys definitely want a kitchen also we do need the workshop because i need to build clock making space for burr houses which will help for certain things uh the tool space definitely so i can grab some easy tools costume room this one's huge absolutely oh okay well, well we'll do that once you know we can get the boost going on but yeah the costume room is probably the biggest thing so i can store all these stuff all the equipment and whatnot clue scrolls and things like this forestry kits oh yeah nice that was worth it okay now that's a plus three boost right here once we make the crystal saw there we go boys we're building some of the tools right now ideally we want to go all the way to tier four because that's all the amulet modes and stuff because i'll be making a lot of jewelry but yeah we have at least the saw and the all that stuff farming stuff there you go this shelf is gonna be what i need to make the level two boost for the tea cooking level 20 oh my god no way all right bam we're ready let's make this tea um i do need to do some construction training still saw doesn't work for building rooms this is it there you go 40 construction done pot of tea four uh-huh okay this should do it watch this here we go custom room build it insta there you go that should give us an boost. oh there we go nice look at that all the jewelry modes too but here it is magic wardrobe is done look at this i can now put it put it in there uh is it this one there you go see we can take it in and out and also law basket as well oh right there as you can see so we're gonna make that now too all right so next part is buying this law basket knowing that we can store it so here we go oh already got all the wrecks that we did earlier today so we're gonna buy one oof now we can store so many logs and that's what we're gonna need for part two of construction because we're not done with construction we have so much more to do are you fellas looking to fill your belly while watching this long episode? Check out today's sponsor then. How often do you guys order food because you want to save time or just don't want to cook? Well, today's sponsor, Factor 75, is a great service for you. Factor is a meal subscription service that provides a wide variety of delicious tasting food. It's healthier than fast food and typically costs less than ordering food online. You can choose between 35 plus weekly meals that are delivered to you fresh and never frozen. The meals offered cover many dietary preferences too, like vegan and keto. Simply place the food in the microwave for two minutes and your factor meal is ready to go. It really is that simple. I had the herb crusted chicken with mashed cauliflower and toasted almond green beans for dinner and it was tender, delicious, and of course, filling. It's really nice to know that I have more time to focus on grinding my ultimate Iron Man and working on videos without the time consuming food prep, thanks to Factor. Click the link below and use the code on screen to get 50% off your first factor box and also 20% off next month's order too. Or use the QR code on the screen. Boost your gains today with a factor 75 meal box. All right, we got the bullseye lantern, boys. And the reason why we need that is so we can do tears of gothics. Pretty much done with wood cutting for now. Look, I can put all that stuff back in there and whatever I want to to do wood cutting or construction related stuff i can always just come back it's time to work on this quest called bone voyage so i can access burr houses which gives me a lot of tree seeds for farm xp but i do need 100 kudos all right we're talking to historian minus hopefully that gives us a good amount of kudos i think we've capped out based on requests and then the pottery one there you go 103 done Oh yeah, also this guy can give me uh, some knowledge as well. I forgot to talk to her before. Yay, 37 mining, 30 crafting. First ever real farming thing that we're doing, and it's going to be a big one. And probably more to come.
Because we're going to set up those birdhouses very soon. Let me explain why Fossil Island is so nice for me to have unlocked. The first one is going to be the Fossil Crabs, which I can AFK for some nice XP. It also drops fossils, which can be given to the museum for XP lamps, which I can get like 100k plus worth of XP lamps for like herbal in the future. That's like the hard skill train. So I'm prepping for that. Also, I get seaweed spores too which lets me train my farming as well. And also the giant seaweed is good for crafting in the future. I will need to do crafting in the future. So that's setting it up as well. Also, the giant seaweed give a lot of his spore seeds. And his spore is really important on Ultimate Iron Man because it's one of my super important ways to manipulate my inventory space called death banking. It's like the best way to do it. So I'm also preparing for that as well by getting those seeds. And also, birdhouse runs. I can do birdhouse runs to train Hunter, which is going to be really important as well for some future equipment grinding for new equipment called Mixed Hides, which I'll explain when we're there in the future. Preparing for that as well. And birdhouses also give a lot of bird's nests that give tree seeds too, which helps accelerate the farming so that I can uh, prepare for stuff like Hisporia in the future as well. But just being there is going to help me prepare for like four to five different things at once. After doing some LMS a day ago for some looting bag, I realized I could actually get the room pouch pretty quick. So it's time to just go ahead and get that done because it's going to save two inventory spaces. That's really huge and it shouldn't take too long. So let's get to it. All right. Another seven point game. See ya. Nice. A real player, man. Oh, I tricked him. All right, cool. That was good. All right, how many points do we have? 65. Let's go. All right, hold on. I need to just eat up first. What? Oh, nice. Got him. That was good, but he was good. He was good, except I, I had a misclick, and then he thought I was faking something, but I wasn't trying to fake anything. I just misclicked. Oh, come on. Yeah, that guy was definitely better. It didn't take too long. That was like three hours, honestly. We're going to instantly save some inventory space right now. Okay, there we go. All right, we fought like two to three real players that kill. All right, that is enough LMS for a while. 16 points already for looting bags. So, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, 14 hunter already. Oh, my days. This is so good. <laughs> Wait... Doesn't that mean I can do the... Nice, I can do oak birdhouses next. Let's go. Already upgrading birdhouses after our first ever run. It's like a level... Like every time still. What the hell, I'm already 18. This this feels like leagues, but it, I'm playing regular game right now, so... We're still far away from having the money to get to 80 construction, but for now, to kind of get a feel for what this grind is going to be like we're going to go for one mil so we're going to get that through scurious and start doing some construction training and go from there nice we just got 70 strength my first ever level 70 skill oh wait i'm 50 range oh damn i didn't even realize i got 50 range 50 range all from scurious minions feels good man oh shit here we go looks like i didn't make it to a mil gp Look at this. Holy, the first one miller. The one millington on the ultimate Iron Man, and which I will quickly use for construction, but it's cool to see it even for a brief moment in time. Nice. I guess we're probably ending this Scurious journey on 53 range, all from Scurious, basically. And quite a lot of strength levels. I'm at 71 strength i also got a few prayer levels from the scurrious extra tails which is nice one of the hardest parts about the uim game mode for sure is knowing when to drop stuff and i'm just gonna have to drop this bone mace in the future i'll have to drop more precious things but the bone mace i can get it back pretty easily anyways i'm gonna log guardians of the rift so i can get the ring of elements also do a few quests and also do the varag diary as well so we can do guardians of the rift a little better just tier one though that's all i need the ring of elements is absolutely insane for ultimate iron man because what it does is it teleports you to four locations the air water earth and fire altars 
especially the earth altar because it's next to the sawmill which means if i need to do a lot of construction uh, i can basically just plank super fast with just a teleport and each teleport only uses a law rune and one of each element which you will get from doing gardens of the rift anyways you, you'll make a bunch of those runes so it pays for itself amazing general purpose traveling item and also amazing for construction so i must get it before we start going for 80 construction because it'll save me insane amount of time and it's also really convenient for fossil island too since the boat is next to the earth altar that lets us access all the way up to uh cosmics i think that's decent for gardens of the rift now we're just gonna go straight to varak one diaries Hmm. Good old 20 plus fishing. Yep. Oh, 28 fishing. Let's go. All right. We finished the easy Vrag Diary. Sweet. Damn, 32 runecrafting already, man. I barely started this game. There it is. One of our most expensive purchases yet. I probably shouldn't even do Gardens of the Rift yet because, uh, I need to go and get my mining level to 41. Holy shit, guys. This is insane. They added so many ore veins to like the entire mother load. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, there's definitely no issue of having to find spots ever again. All right, I just hit 41 mining and ooh, calcified uh, mines, whatever, or rocks. That's that's for the future. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. We're gonna store some of these ores here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue the Gardens of the Rift tomorrow. But I'm gonna AFK Ammonite Crafts tonight. And probably the next few days. Oh shit, I forgot. I get seaweed spores from here too. And I can grow them now. I have 23 farming. Exactly. That's extra farming gains. Yo, this is not bad. I just gained about 500 farm XP. Oh no, 600. Just from one patch of the giant seaweed. Oh, 30 hunter already. 30 hunter, and this is only a few runs in. Actually, correct. Oh, and I got an acorn. Holy shit. Let's go. Let's go. Boys, we got 27 farming. Meaning, I can now grow... A different tier of trees. I think it's apple. Nice. 30 farming. Pretty good milestone. We're going to basically spend the whole day now at Gardens of the Rift. Cleaned out my inventory as best as I could. To get the Ring of Elements for our construction grind and also for general purpose traveling, I need to spend 400 Abyssal Pearls to buy from the reward shop. And Abyssal Pearls can be obtained by looting the reward guardian outside of the minigame by using one catalytic point and one elemental point. You get these points by completing the Gardens of the Rift games and it's looting the Guardian once requires one of each catalytic and elemental. And on average, one loot yields two Abyssal Pearls. Because I need 400 Abyssal Pearls, that means I need 200 catalytic points and 200 elemental points. And unfortunately, that's not guaranteed to get 400 pearls from them. But I do have about like a 64% chance. So I probably am going to get like maybe 220 of each or something. Just a little more. Just to improve our odds even more. Oh yeah, it's so much faster with a rune pickaxe. Like, oh damn. 37 rune crafting. What a massive difference already. First game back. Already doubled my points. Already 40 rune crafting. We really want to get to 44 though, because those nature portals are so nice. Oh my god, look at that. I got seven points that game. Hell yeah, we're getting we're getting good at this again. Yeah, look at that. For I play body enables you to mine additional ore. So I've mined an additional 60 so far in a few games. Not bad. There it is, 44 rune crafting. Hell yeah. Now we access nature altar. We're literally getting more XP per hour runecrafting than trading agility. Thanks to Guardians of the Rift. Southwest? Oh shit, I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Wait, 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 maybe? Oh, I actually made it. Oh my god. That was insane. Oh, there it is. 50 runecrafting, boys. So we're gonna take a little break. After this game, because I need to do a few things. I gotta get a medium pouch. 
I also need to do Troll Stronghold because apparently to make law runes, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I need to actually do that quest. Wow, I gained another mining level from this. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Large pouch. Okay, on to the Troll Stronghold quest. There we go. We got access to making law runes now. Oh, 53 rune crafting, man. 54 rune crafting in about 20 minutes, which means law runes. Holy shit, I got eight points that game. Holy. There it is. 54 freaking rune crafting, man. I cannot wait to uh, go into this law rift. All right, so we have like 20 law runes in our inventory. So let's see how many law runes we have when we finish the ring goal. Unfortunately, I don't think my rates are going to really go up anymore since... The next thing I can unlock is death runes, so I'm not going to be able to get that. Alright, we did like 5 hours today, guys. We did about 150 points. It's actually a lot slower than I thought, you know, this grind. Like, XP is really good, but the pearl rates are just slow as balls. Wait a minute, I should be doing teaks? Shouldn't I now for birdhouses? Nice. Second night of fossil island stuff. I ran into a problem here. I was trying to redo my looting bag stuff because I wanted to take out some seeds. And as you noticed, uh, this looting bag is looking different from last time. Where's the granite shield and stuff? Well, I totally forgot that you can't actually destroy the looting bag if you're not like in the wilderness wilderness. Because if you do, it actually deletes everything. You have to actually just die like a PVM death or like die to nettles or something in order to actually take the stuff out the looting bag. So, yeah, I messed up. But luckily, we now have made the mistake. I doubt I'll make it again. So, we should be okay now. Luckily, it was early on. We didn't lose too much. Probably just Grand Shield's like the most big thing. But that's still like pretty small. I'm not gonna lie. I reached over a thousand total. And I barely even realized it. Because normally, after five days of playing, I wouldn't be at a thousand total. I guess with all these new updates, it's gone by a lot quicker. But... Also, though, I've been brainstorming a lot every day on, on Twitch with the viewers on, like, all these new ways to utilize all these new content, like Volumore and things like that. So, that definitely helped a lot as well. I've been planting a lot of tree and fruit tree seeds, as you can tell from all the birdhouses I'm doing. And the best part is, I can actually pay for protection for most of them already. Because in Volumore, there's a new fruit shop that basically sells you things like a bunch of apples and oranges which is all really good for fruit trees so i'm actually able to guarantee get the xp from those trees because i know it ain't gonna die volumor also has a one-of-a-kind sweet corn field that you can pick which is really good for me because i'm using it to pay for certain tree protection and you can also just pick it to cook at the nearby range it's actually insanely good xp uh, for cooking you get a hundred plus xp and you only need 20 cooking to do it. And you can basically just keep picking them forever and ever. Nice. Six points. 30 KC. Guardians of the Rift. We're now totaling about 90. So 170 points. Looks like I'm going to have to get around like 100 KC or something. Or like 90. Oh, 57. Room crafting here. 45 mining. Bruh. Okay, my granite. Four levels just off Guardians of the Rift. Holy shit, I forgot. I get crafting here too. I'm at 43 crafting. For those of you that don't know how to do Gardens of the Rift, the quest does teach you how to do it. But specifically, it boils down to a few things. There's rune crafting, the runes that you get from uh, mining the essence and you chisel them. Uh, you just go to the altar that's open and they'll show on the screen. And you rune craft and then you'll get these uh, catalytic or elemental energies. Oh, 59 rune craft. Let's go. We're still getting rune crafting levels under an hour now. And these energies, you just give it to the guardian at the middle. And you also want to have battery packs with you because then when you rune craft, it charges it. So then you just place the battery pack on the circles on the ground where the shields are. So you can power the shield or charge the golem. If you see a yellow port, go in there because then you get to uh, mine the essence pre chiseled already faster. Yeah, two runs. Can chisel twice before the yellow portal shows up. 
60 rune crafting. Damn, it's actually one of my highest level skills. And we're still barely, it's just slightly over halfway to the to the points that we need. Wow. 63 rune crafting. Holy shit. I wonder what I'm gonna get to, man, by the time I get to the end. 65 is my guess. Wait, your pouch has decayed before oh my god. The pouch can actually completely break on me. Oh, I got it already. That was so fast. Two kills. Easy. Alright, guys. 34 farming. Probably just AFK crabs until calcify rocks. But yeah, 34 farming's done. Uh, I will keep planting whatever seaweed spores I get from the crabs. But yeah, type farm is unlocked though. So that's good. That's really important for the future. Oh shit. Yo, guys. 44 hunter. And also, I do have the crafting level thanks to the Gardens of the Rift. Because look at this baby. 44 is maple burr houses. Holy shit. Dude, freaking seaweed's so good for his spore seeds, man. We're gonna need that his spore in the future for a bombless bucket and also for uh, suiciding to store items. 30 some farming. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can make southeast. That's just so far. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. That is just so far. Oh my god, I actually made that. No way. Jagex banned a bunch of Gardens of Rip bots today because uh, I'm used to games with like 200 people at this time, but right now we have like 100 people, 100 ish. And the points per game, every game so far, is uh, seven points instead of six. 64 rune crafting. 65 rune crafting. I cannot believe it, but I'm still not there yet. But we're close. Unbelievably close now, guys. Check out our points, man. We're at like 200 each now. Just like 40 more to go. The medium pouch broke. And we're so close to 220 points each. But I think this is going to be my last game. Because I believe we have like an 80 plus percent, 85 plus percent chance to get the ring from this many searches. So that's pretty good odds. Oh boy. Dude, freaking 15 hours I think at least. To get this many pulls, uh, starting from like bare minimum rune crafting. But holy shit, look at this 65 rune crafting. I think that's like an arty diary wreck or something. Oh, a little nervous. I really hope we get it. I really hope we do. All right, let's go. This is just gonna auto do it, right? It's gonna do its thing. 19. That's a good start. Instantly, we got pearls. Yes. Oh my god, I hate these. I hate these needles, man. They're so troll. Oh boy. Come on, more. Oh. Whoa, we already got the giant pouch. Uh-oh. Yes. Yes. One out of eight. No way. I got to die. That's actually so good. That's actually so good because I can trade it in, right? Oh. Abyssal red die. 50 pearls. Yes. That's awesome. That's going to really ensure 300 more to go. Well, I got a hard clue. A low? I got a crystal key as well. Whoa, I got a Catalytic Talisman. Sweet, I can bag this. If I do Morning Zen Part 2, I can use this to go to the Death Altar, apparently. So, shout out Twitch chat, you know, for uh, all these little tips. Whoa, what is this? Lost bag? What the heck? I've never even gotten this before on uh, Iron Bar. Alright, more lore stuff. Let's go. Very interesting loot so far. Oh, 157. I just got two, three pearls in a row. All right, we're halfway there, guys. 250. Okay. Yes, 250. And we're still halfway on, on our pulls. That's really good. Dang. 90 left. 268. 288. Okay, we just gained an extra 20. Oh, 330. Nice. I just got another 20. Another 10. 60 left. 364, let's go. Nice, I also got a new item, Tarnish Lock. Wait, doesn't that give me like a teleport or something? Two more, two more, guys. Oh my god. Man, the tease is real for these last two. 50 rewards left. I got it! Let's go ahead and buy the freaking Ring of Elements. Make sure this is the right one. Yes. Value 400. Yes. 
Yes, we got it. Oh my god. Ring of Elements. We gotta charge it up, though. Alright, tarnish locket. We can just give it to this guy. Of course you can have the locket. Yeah, we're gonna give it to him. And, oh, this is sick. Emblem of the Eye. This is infinite teleport to a closed bank. I see. So, to charge this ring, one charge, it requires one of each elemental room and one law room. Okay. And I can uncharge it anytime. Sick. I'm gonna max it out. Use up all the runes I have on hand. So, we got now a thousand plus teleports on this ring. <laughs> Alright, watch this, guys. So... The Earth Altar is going to be the most important telly because we can go back to Fossil Island for all the other stuff we were doing really quick right there. And of course, the Sawmill. Look at that. Mm -mm, right there. Amazing. The Ring of Elements being able to teleport me to the four elemental altars is going to be insane for all kinds of things. But the main thing, of course, is construction. I can now viably train my construction quickly by going to the sawmill instantly in between Mahogany Homes trips. And that means I can get to the stash units all the way to Masters, uh, which means we're going to go for 80 construction. It's going to be amazing being able to store uh, some really good stuff early on, like the Moon's Gear. And also, I can build things like the jewelry boxes early for insane permanent teleports. Also, things like Xerxes Talisman, the house, the dig site pen in the house as well, and stamina pool around that level range is going to be a thing too so stick around for future episodes because we're going to be training our construction with the ring of elements and unlocking all these super awesome things early on all right so we have tons of nature rune so we can super heat steel bar for the occasion while hungry homes and then we just cut the rest of these oaks fill it up all right, best part now. We filled it up. Time to go to the Earth Altar. Like so. And this is the last little bit. So we just have to do this in between every contract. There we go. Hosidius. Sweet. Okay. Yep, that's it. Get a task. And we start the contract. It's going to go by so quick. Wonder how my rates are going to look. We're going to try our first hard clue. We got complication step. Which means I gotta go to Chaos Altar. There we go. We got what lies below done along the way. No, you asshole. Damn it, dude. I gotta do the death pile. But we're kind of close to doing this hard clue, though. I kind of want to go for it. I guess we could practice. Right? This will give us good good chance to practice our death piling. Okay. I haven't done this in a little bit. But yeah, our shit's on the ground. The looting bag is destroyed, so the annoying part is going to be putting stuff back into the looting bag and not accidentally putting in the wrong thing. Five steps. Yo, we can do this. All right, guys. 50% chance we can complete this right here, right now. No, are you serious? Max steps. Oh, we're good. It's literally right next door. Oh, my God. It is, do it is doable. I'm so happy I brought food. Oh, man, that was scary. As you can see, limited space sucks. There it is. Our first hard casket. Man, we went through trials and tribulations, man. Wilderness and Trana almost died at a freaking wizard. We're at the peak of life right now, boys. Literally at the peak of life. Let's freaking send this, man. What do we get? Whoa, what the heck? Dang it. I was hoping for, like, actual MSB, but a hey, hey, money, you know, money is money. We take it. We, that's, like, construction fund right there, bro.